Lesson 6, Unit 4. Lessons Learned. Lessons Learned is another method to capture and document information on what the project learned. Its objective is to document what went well, what did not go well, and what should be changed. The information captured in the Lessons Learned session is summarized and made available to reference for future projects. A Lessons Learned session is traditionally held near the end of the project. However, Lessons Learned might be identified and documented at any point during the project's life cycle. The purpose of documenting Lessons Learned is to share and use knowledge derived from experience to promote the recurrence of desirable outcomes and to prevent the recurrence of undesirable outcomes. As a practice, lessons learned includes the process necessary for identification of applicable lessons learned, documentation, analysis, and organization, the storage and distribution to the appropriate stakeholders. The organization, current, and future projects will identify the actions that will be taken as a result of the lessons learned and follow up to ensure that the appropriate actions were taken. A lessons learned session is conducted to focus on identifying project success and project failures and includes recommendations to improve future projects. The lessons learned session is typically a meeting that includes the following people, the project team, selected key stakeholders, the project support staff, and even project partners. Lessons learned should be documented with the positive experiences and the negative experiences. Every documented lessons learned should contain at least three general elements, the project information, a clear statement of the lessons, the background summary, how the lessons were learned, and the benefits of using the lessons and suggestions on how to use the lessons in the future. Participants in the lessons learned session typically discuss questions similar to the following. What was planned? What actually occurred? what went well and why, and what can be improved and how. In the first part of the session, the team will focus on describing the plan and the circumstances at the start of the project, including assumptions and risks. It's important that the context of the project is documented to understand the conditions at the start of the project. In the next step, the team describes what actually occurred presenting facts without making judgments, and not trying to put blame on anyone. The purpose of this step is just to describe facts in terms of what happened. Next is the turn to present what went well, such as decisions to respond to issues and changes that improved the project, and describing the facts and the actions that led to a good outcome. This section of the lessons learned sessions helps the team realize that there has been a lot of good work that they have done, and it's a source of motivation to use the lessons learned in future projects. Finally, the team identifies opportunities to improve current and future projects. Lessons are documented with specific actions and a follow-up plan that will help implement and monitor the changes. The actions are prioritized and an owner is assigned to ensure the action is implemented. The value of a lessons learned to the organization include the following learning from mistakes so that they don't happen again, recognizing success and accomplishments that can be replicated, retaining organizational knowledge for use by future projects, reduce future project problems, and improve future project performance. The objective is that the lessons learned document is shared and then used by the organization and other projects. The lessons helping to improve the DMA cycle by modifying, shaping, or validating the DMD strategy. It might include changes to the portfolio or how the organization makes decisions about new projects. This can lead to improvements on how the organization resources are invested. It can include changes in the methodology, the process to design, monitor, and evaluate the project, and even changes to procedures and policies that the project might need to be more effective. The idea is that eventually, at the end of the cycle, a new cycle starts with recommendations and changes that can help the next project to be more successful.